Again, to make sure you go ahead and uh, hit up the VGBC VODs channel because uh, those matches are apparently already up there. Great. That's OD. And that's one thing I think, uh, you know, anytime there's a national, man, that's something I definitely want to see in full effect. Oh, yeah. We need that. We need that. I mean, this camera lowered a little bit. You know, I feel like it's a little high. Man. I do feel like it's a little high. A little high? It's okay. Yo, where's where sleeves at, man? Sleeves. Yeah. Hey, yo, sleeves. Yo, yo, tip this down a little bit, man. This, this camera's a little high. <laughs> I, I wasn't joking. <laughs> like, like, all right, man. All right, man. You got it. I mean, we're not running production. Here it is, man. man. No more jokes here. CLG Void versus TSM Zero going in, going at it, man. This is going to be a very high-flying match. You got the uh, the Let's Go tag here from Void. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to see how this goes. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, you know, Void's got to be feeling pretty good about his play today. Obviously made it this far uh, to winner's quarters throughout the day. Already qualified for top four of doubles with the cat, which we'll see them competing in tomorrow. Uh, before top eight singles begins, man. So right now, a whole nother test in the form of Zero. Void up to this date has yet to be able to defeat Zero, man. So many close encounters, so many close calls, but has yet to finally secure that double W. Could today here at Super Smash Con, where upsets are plenty, be the day that this young man finally gets that long and coveted W he's looking for yeah. against uh, one of the best in the world right now. Not, not, not looking too much like that just yet. You know, a lot of damage here on Void, but, you know, not, not really in kill percentage just yet. I think another like 10-20% is where it's really going to matter, but he's got to find his way to get back down to the ground, and here it is, the up air, still not enough, but next time, was, yeah, we're going to uh, call the curtains for that first stop. Yes, sir. Oh! oh, great catch right there from Zero, making it look so easy right there, just great placement all around. All right. Zero right here, not overcommitting to anything. Void right there, taking his time on where he kind of wants to position himself and where he wants to go. I see a lot of ground to cover right now. Yeah, man, a lot of ground to cover and a lot of uh, action needs to be done for right here. Uh oh. Oh, I know what he was looking for, man. Look, definitely looking for the up smash. Right. I would have uh, sealed that stock immediately. Nice. Back to right here for no. Void. Now, this would be tremendous right here. If he can close this stock out rel relatively. <laughs> Relatively quickly, Wood got some uh, tomfoolery backstage right now. Sorry, guys. But, uh, <laughs> keeping it together right now. Wood trying to keep this lead, or excuse me, Zero trying to keep this lead together. Wood, though, able to find the up air. There it is. That'll Gets be good for a stop. Yep. 57% here on Void, man. Nothing too much to scoff at yet, but hopefully he can get that right back. You know, you, Void uh, very patented for knowing those combos. Let's see exactly how that works out for him. All right, creeping and crawling a little bit here. Oh, left himself open right there. But hand in hand for zero. That's going to be a free punish any way you look at it. All right. Oh, that nab throw right there, the reverse. Not gonna get it. Here's the grab, though. Should be able to get something off that. Actually misses his first hit. Kind of interesting he even went for the neutral. I think that might have been a tech error. Ooh, I like the chase down from Void. Okay. Uh-oh. Here we go. Stage right here. Well, they're actually going to expend the monkey flip uh, kick regardless. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, wow. Man, I feel like he would have went for the bounce position if he didn't slip up the ledge like that. Looking for the air dodge down, but Zero not going to give that up just yet. So Void kind of showing his hand right there. I think Zero's probably going to avoid the uh, the air dodges down for a while. Still gets the grab here. Looks like in this play I'm seeing thus far here from Void has just started to kind of crawl back into this matchup. Zero had a pretty heavy lead, but you know, looking a little more fragile as these hits continue on. But one over extension leads to one punish, and that one stop will seal away game number one for TSM Zero. That was really good from Zero. That was that was actually all frame. Like, because I saw the F smash starting from Void, which would have been a good option had he started just a little earlier. But because he didn't, Zero managed to get his way faster down to it out that led to the, uh, the punish. So great stuff to Zero. No one is punishes. Knowing when he knows, or knowing that he can get that uh, finish. What? I look for some water? No. I mean, I would like some water, but yeah. Uh, I, that's my fault. Honestly, at this point in time, it's my fault. I knew there was no water back here earlier. And I, just <laughs> and I still just didn't have to go get my own, so. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so both coaches coming through. Larry and Pierce offering some advice for the boys right there. 
Larry, another one of those recipients, man. You know, it's just so weird to say 33rd and attached to his name, man. But it's been that kind of tournament. Oh, yeah. Both these guys have thus far avoided upset city. That's why they've made it to this point right here. Trying to qualify for top eight. Honestly, man, if was another one of, those, one of those people I haven't really get to see too many of his matches, but I'm just very uh, proud of him that he's actually still in the winners. You know? Not to say that Void uh, is not uh, prone to being in winners, but if you remember his last few tournaments, uh, in or lose a little early. However, he still made it to top eight at Evo. Right. From like a deep loser's bracket run. Yeah, so. he was the only one who really like lost like super early before yeah. like winners semis or quarters, something like that, yeah. and brought it all the way back. And then with, you know, a good follow-up performance at Dream Hack. Atlanta for him to take a second place to Salem. So, yeah. Boyd has definitely been uh, performing at an elevated level right here. Trying to yeah. add zero to that laundry list of names he's been taking out thus far. Zero, zero. man. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely down. just playing standard zero zero game right here, man. Push on that ledge. Take, gets a lot of damage from that ledge. Keeps that pressure on top of you, man. It makes you feel like, it makes you, feel like you have no confidence. And that's, and that's why he's playing right now. But uh, either way, man, I need to see some more of that Dark Void come out if you're trying to get these uh, games on the board. Right. Ooh. Nice. Great speed on the roll right there. Just steps forward a little bit knowing that roll distance. That's a Void thing, though. Bit of a focus. Okay, putting a little bit of pressure right there. I like these jabs here coming out from zero, though. Bringing out the banana and now trying to hold down that stage control. See if he can get it. Let's trap Master, as we always like to say, and for good reason right there. Plays like that, making it work for him here. Just flipped up a little bit, though. Like that Nair here. They're going to go low. Smart play right there. Boy, definitely just made him to go up. Oh, okay. Nice. And there yes. it is. Yeah. Beautiful catch right there. So Void, actually taking the first stock here in the second game. I mean, he's been a, he's been a pretty high percentage for quite some time, but he managed to play... Uh, methodically around uh, zero being able to take that stop. So here we are. Oh, great stuff right there. No one's wow. grab was coming out and he's still keeping up the pressure. I don't know if that back air was not uh was uh, intended or not, but regardless, boy well, gets a quick 50. Air dodge get through that situation. Uh, I mean I remember I saw him do a similar combo to that on the stream one time. That man got myself immediately. <laughs> Let's find out if he can get this game too. Looking pretty poised right here, even at 138. I'm saying, if he, if he wins this game too, I'll, I'll sub in his next game. We out, man. You know, I've got to make one promise that I came through. You know, I, I played Link six months after Civil War. Still playing him. And here it is. It's the, this promise I make this time around. If boy gets this game, man, I'll give him a sub. There it is, man. All right. Boy, though, uh, excuse me, Zero, though, out here trying to save you a little bit of money, man. Yeah. He's certainly fighting right now. Takes back control of the save me more banana. money than Geico, I'll tell you that, man. Back, man. Thanks. <laughs> here it is. Trying to get himself right back on the stage. He's having a hard time, though. Seriously. Great play all around here for Zero. Mounting this comeback right now, putting the pressure on Boyd. Had a pretty solid lead, but things starting to slip away just a tad. Man, we call him Legend Trap Gucci for a reason. Man. He, he's definitely got this man, he sold him toning down. Okay. He did. New song from Gucci right there. He definitely told him toning down, Woo! but Boyd was not listening. And here's $5, Boyd. I'm, I'm going to do it right now. I got that mobile sub link, baby. I got that mobile sub already on deck. Shout Let's out, go. Shout out to Twitch, man. Holding it down just like Boyd. Not going to allow himself to be facing a 2-0 deficit. Knots things up here. 1-2-1. One, one. Sensational, man. Sensational. Get some boy bears in the chat, man. Yeah. What is uh, what is his Twitch? Is it, is it I think it's boy? G. Oh, GSM. GSM. Are yeah, you right? Chuck, think, Chuck, think I lost up right now. <laughs> Please. I think this man ain't real. You don't know. He deserved that. That was godlike. That was godlike right here. All right, let's get into it yet again. Game yeah, number three. Game three, yeah. Lilac is the counter pick here for zero. Yeah, this one goes down. That's what stage boy's pretty comfortable with as well. Not going to be too many surprises for him. He's just running down zero with that banana in hand. All right. Boy getting right back on stage here. Just barely, but again, man, zero knowing how to cut those options off, man. If you try to get over him, he has a banana in hand. And if you land in front of him, he's going to throw it right at you. All right, pretty slow pace thus far, man. Here's a little bit of back and forth action. You really think about it. Like right, that commitment right there on that grab from Boyd. Execution of the right there. Now that was a good catch right there. Caught him coming in. Just a little bit, give him a clap one time. Okay, Boyd. 
Here it is. Got the, a little bit of sit lead here and a lot of pressure. Oh, one needle would have been able to finish that stock. I think he was going for it. However, Woo! the newsletter to bounce fish will finish. Let's go. This is tremendous play thus far here from Boyd. In that first game, man, but responding in a big way in that second one and goes for everything with that dare right there, but gonna whip it up. And that's gonna give Zero pretty much the free stock, man, and the ability to just make this comeback a little bit easier here. Or so you might think here. Boyd, though, despite that SD, not letting the aggression go right here. Uh oh. Okay. I don't know if the roll line was on purpose. I feel like he might have wanted a dash grab right there. However, still going quite well. All right. Here on zero. You're getting back on stage, but now he's just getting chased down uh, every time. Even when he gets a little space, man, those needles are enough. Put him back and tumble. I love the space right there. And the up smash. What a big time one. Front boy gets the trump right here, turns it around with the bouncing fish. Boy right here looking, poised to be able to take a second game here, but 52% mean not too much that Jill needs to add to make that rage become a super huge factor. That's the only thing that, you know, shakes, you know, gotta be careful, man. That lightweight person does her no favors in situations like this, and that's free damage right there for zero. This is gonna go for the F smash. Not, not enough. quite enough. Very close though. But you saw the sparks and everything oh, right here. 135 here on Boyd. Has not been able to find that finishing blow yet, and Zero has been able to get back in the game just because of that. Rest assured, right oh. there. Zero gets one more of those, and that's going to be a wrap. Oh, good you shoot right here. Oh, that was. That was a little overzealous from Boy, however, managed to get out of that up, uh, up smash in time. He might have broken his C stick trying to get out of that one. Oh, yeah. The flick was on right there before there, and that's going to do it. Zero, what an insane comeback. You see the mini pop up. Well deserved right there. Boyd seemingly having that match. Well under control, but the resiliency of zero just a little too much on that exchange. And I, I gotta credit that SD that you know Void performed right there. I know he was trying to drag zero down with the down air, a great fault right there, but the execution just was not behind it, unfortunately. All right, two man. one for zero here. He's that he's over here thinking about where he needs to go right now. That was a very close game, very dominant gameplay coming in from uh Void. Just kinda that steam kinda ran out. Yeah. You know, you're not you cannot have your steam run out against zero, man. You gotta play at a consistent level of godlikeness because the minute that you drop or if there's any dip in your gameplay, he's taking advantage. Not a lie with anything you just said right there, man. Oh, I never lie. Say it. talk. Anyway, I'm listening. Out to game four here. Boy, I'm gonna take it right back to the live. I mean, it was obviously a great stage for him right there. Just could not get that last, that finishing blow that he needed to get it out to game four on his side. So, we'll see what happens here. Uh oh. Nice. Great stuff right there. Wait for the rollout. It gets the uh the punish too. Alright. That's done right there. Boyd is moving right here, just stuffing zero. Trying to kinda of give him a taste of his own medicine with this ledge pressure we were seeing. Oh and wow. Maybe a little bit of a misstep right there from zero. Gonna eat a ton of damage. Boyd relentless on this assault right now. All right, almost got it right there. That would have been beautiful. Gets the drag down, but does not get the grab. Great roll from Zero. So many times we've seen Boyd in a situation like that, and he tends to capitalize right there for Zero, getting a bit of a reprieve right there. Boyd not able to make the most out of it, but still keeping control right here. Has a tremendous lead. And that stock off first, though, would do wonders for him. Okay, the roll in. Gets the roll out, though, that time. So Zero doing, Zero's actually doing a great job of mixing up how he's landing after his... Uh, this uh, monster flips. Like sometimes he goes with the beaver, sometimes he doesn't. And even I, he was even got me guessing, you know, I, there's no like real pattern to it just yet. Okay, the down smash though. Ooh. Great stuff catching the roller. Maybe thought he was gonna get trumped. Picked that fast up, and got that ledge, and it only gets bodies right there from Void. So Void taking the first stock yet again on Lilac. Let's see what he can do with it though. Void is looking. Looks really good, you know, all throughout this contest thus far, man. It's just really come down to, you know, you can get the lead on zero, but can you maintain it? it? Tends to be the main struggle right here. Yeah. That we're seeing in face right now. Got 34 already. Oh. Okay, that actually right there. I'm not sure if that helped him get out that situation, but that was a very interesting uh, option to go for it instead of the air dodge. Okay. Wade. Thought he's going to look for the up smash right there, but instead, zero into landing a back air. 
little misspaced on that grab. Wow. Yep. Almost taking the stop. Almost right hit there. that man with Brett Favre. <laughs> Let it fling downfield for sure. Back air, that will be enough to seal the deal. Now we saw Zero make a pretty amazing and miraculous comeback in that last game. Will history repeat itself though is the question. Gotta feel the void. Gotta be feeling himself right now. Oh, that was actually a pretty solid defensive play right there. Okay, it's right here. Set up for a couple back airs. Oh boy, not gonna allow that second one to connect. Has the four there waiting. Oh Ooh. my, big time hit. I yep. wonder what Zero thought that was. Though. I'm not sure, but that monkey just got spanked. We got a game five, baby. I mean, we got a game five, and yeah, he, he must have thought he went for an air tilt instead, though. You know, something hits the shield, and me to try to come out with an, op an option, but that second leg came through and destroyed that stock. So we got Larry up here. I'm not sure if we're going to get the coach in front of him just yet. Both coaches coming up. We got Coach Pierce. So yeah, we got some coach right here. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. We see, I can see my man Tant in the background with the timer on deck. Doing his best bear impersonation right there. Shouts to Bear. Shouts to Bear indeed. Speaking of, we got some time to go to my charger. Right oh, there right. you go. CK <laughs> going to get that charger right quick. And all you guys out there, hope you've been enjoying this action, man. If you're just tuning in, certainly picked a pretty good time. A couple of immaculate matches you missed already. But things are just heating up. A game five situation right now between CLG Void. TSM Zero, a lot on the line. Zero obviously looking to secure a top eight spot right here through the winner side of things. And of course, Void looking to secure his first ever victory over Zero would be monumental for this young man's career. Can he get the job done? Well, guys, you don't have to wait too long. We got Town of City. We got game number five. Let's man, get it. That's like, the, that's like the least you can say, too, man. I mean, it really comes down to uh, what's happening here in this last game. I mean, I that's going to be huge for Void. You know, he's been looking for that for quite some time, that victory over Zero. But... At this point in time, I mean, anyone beating zero is always going to be huge. Right. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how good you are. You know, no one has that. No one has that positive record on zero. So, yeah, the ally was starting to build a little bit of a case, man. But you know, zero kind of got that back under control. And, oh yeah. You know, these days you don't need to meet ally and bracket. It's <laughs> what it is. Ally got all. I'm trying to even worry about zero right now. Anyway, shout out to ally, man. I love that guy, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> shout my, out that's to my guy, man. Shout out to Void and Zero here duking it out. As I said, game number five. Big time right here, but you know, keep in mind, this game 5 0, man. We've seen him on many, many occasions just whip out when it comes right down to it, man. But we'll see if Boyd can kind of fade that right here. Zero That's definitely the final in. boss, man. Final, final, final boss, boss zero, indeed. But it looks like Boyd, I mean, at least keeping up with the final boss, maybe he's got that uh, that equipment, you know, that armor that he needs right now. Not sure if it's the plot armor that we're looking for, though. We'll see what happens. Either way, we shall find out. I know very. Oh, this would mean so much to Void. He was very adamant of the fact that before. Oh, that. I mean, honestly, I got to give it to Zero right yeah, there. Yeah, that was nice. Immediate, that was nice. immediate up B instead of going for, like, you know, charge just in case. He's like, I'm going to get this uh, this stage spike. Void probably not ready for it. He's losing that stock a lot earlier than one would expect. Hey, though. Got to go high right here. Mix up his landing a little bit. He did a good job right there. Zero not able to get a read on it. Oh, tried to go for an up smash as he was running in. I mean, that might have actually hit. He might have been anticipating a monkey flip, too. Yeah. A couple of different uh, ways we might have been looking at that situation. But Zero just looking to continue to extend this lead. Doing an excellent job right here. 45 on Void, 129 for Zero. And he is not slowing down at all. This freight train that is known as Game 5 Zero is really moving and grooving right now. All right, Void trying to get himself back on stage. Man, Zero putting up the pressure. A lot of projectiles coming out from gets the grab here, up throw, up air. Not a, oh, oh, actually enough! And wow. I, I hate to say it, almost deja vu of the set that they played at Genesis Four. You know, down to the wire in a lot of those first four games, and then just a steamrolling on the part of Zero. Okay. History repeating itself.